I'm Karen Perry, and I make podcasts. They're a great way of storytelling and reaching new audiences. But what should be in your podcast, and where do you start? In this section, I'll give you some advice on how to structure your podcast and what preparation you need to do in advance. The most important thing is that your podcast is as good as it can be. You want people to love it and to come back for more. So spend time planning your content in advance. Who will be the presenter? The one introducing the podcast at the beginning and carrying out the interviews. You may take this as an opportunity to introduce a different voice. Someone young and engaging, natural sounding and sparky. It could be one of your volunteers or a younger member of staff. Or that person might be you. And what about choosing your interviewee? The best person is not always the best qualified or the most experienced. Can they paint a picture? Can they bring the object in front of you to life? There's a saying in my profession that the pictures are better on the radio. You're firing people's imagination. When you're preparing, don't rely just on emailing your interviewee. Speak to them first on the phone or face to face. Are they engaging on this topic? Do they bring it to life? You can't tell that from an email. So now to the content itself. A podcast is a perfect vehicle to take your listeners behind the scenes, to give them privileged access to your work. You might want something to promote a new exhibition or a special event you've got coming up. Maybe there's a new item in your collection. Or you could make a podcast that coincides with a national event or a topic of interest. Something like Restitution of Museum Objects or LGBT History Month, for example. Keep your listener riveted by focusing on the most interesting elements. What question will you answer in this episode? It doesn't need to be all-encompassing. Decide which bit of the story you want to tell. Think back to your exams at school, when you attempted to put down everything you knew about the subject, rather than focusing on the actual question. As well as appealing to existing visitors, you want to bring in new listeners. What themes will have wider appeal beyond the four walls of your building? In the trade, we describe these elements of a story as being grabby. Like a good soap, it's life with the boring bits taken out. So now for the structure. Let's start at the beginning with your intro. It's probably best to actually record this after you've done your main interviews. You should script this section in advance. But don't forget the basics. What's the name of the podcast? What's it broadly about? And where is it coming from? I.e. the name of your gallery or museum. Tell people what's coming up in this episode. Tease them with a few juicy snippets but don't give away all your best bits right at the top. Keep some surprises up your sleeve. You can also add some music to make it appealing and give it personality. But do stay away from copyrighted music, it's a minefield. There are lots of free music libraries online, or if you're in a position to, you could commission some original music. So that's the beginning. The middle is your interview with one person or more if you're feeling confident. With your interviews, prepare your questions in advance. I've got some more tips on this in section four. But don't feel you have to be a complete slave to the questions. You may need to drop some if you're running out of time or need to make room for some unexpectedly fascinating tangent that crops up in the conversation. Unless it's a two-way conversation, try not to interject too much. Nods and smiles will tell your interviewee that what they're saying is interesting without interrupting their flow too much. So avoid too much, mmm, wow, amazing. Let them do the talking. So now we're at the end of the podcast. We're back to you or your presenter signing off. And again, I'd advise scripting this section. You might want to thank your interviewee, tell people where they can find out more, at your museum or gallery of course, how they can connect to you via social media or your website. And if your podcast coincides with an exhibition, 
Remind them where they can see it. And don't forget to thank your sponsors and funders. And most importantly, let people know where they can subscribe to get future episodes and leave feedback. I usually say, subscribe wherever you're listening to this podcast now. You want them to come back.